imagine I have called you up here, Mildred Hubble. Mm -mm. You might find it easier to speak, Mildred, if you first remove what is in your mouth. <laughs> Good heavens, girl! What on earth is that? A gobstopper mess. <sighs> lines. I must not fill my mouth with disgusting rubbish. You may take your seat, Mildred, yeah, in me. silence. You have till the end of this form lesson to finish your letters home. Useful words and phrases may be copied from the board. Fresh air, strict but fair, practicing hard at potions and spells. Just like hopeless at everything. Very neat, Maud Moonshine. Call this a witch school? I haven't even turned anyone into a frog yet. <laughs> Fanciful and inaccurate. The words you were no doubt searching for to describe school food, as distinct from the object you produced from your mouth earlier, were plain, nourishing, and extremely nutritious. Is it today? I don't look. Liver and onions. Oh. In cold, greasy gravy. Hey, Franco. Can you do something about this leaky room? The curse of Sir Walter is upon us. You don't believe all that old rubbish. Seven days of each year for the harm ye have done. And Sir Walter's wet week shall the chill waters run. I shall expect clean plates from every one of you. That'll be something magic to write home about. You don't belong here, Mildred Hubble. Why don't you run off and join the circus? I wouldn't sit next to her. Leave her alone. Sticking up for your fidgety friend, moo face. I'll get you for that. Ignore her. What's that? I don't know. It looks like an archery. Scalpo? Is it alive? Beep. No, I'm sorry, we were too late. Shh, out. I can't. Wet mash and bullet peas, maybe. But I can't swallow this dead grey stuff. Nor can I. I've got to. Where's the waste bin? Over there. She'll see you. Ruby, are you wearing your watch then? Oh, you mean my Trixie timer? Mm. Now. Seven seconds. Plenty of time. Three seconds there, dumped in the bin. Three seconds back. Stop on my plate. Last off. You seem in a bit of a stew, Miss Hardbrum. She'll have to go. Mildred Hubble, I presume. She's a bad influence. The behaviour in the dining hall today was quite atrocious. I confiscated it. We should set an example. I've finished my broth, haven't I, headmistress? Yes. What about the girls, Miss Hardroom? It's time for a crackdown, Miss Cackle. They're filling up on sweets rather than eating their dinners. Who's on duty tomorrow, lunchtime? It's the eyes, the way they look at you. Oh, big and staring. No, the smell. We could hold our noses and swallow them down quick. They get stuck. They're like... Wales. Extreme. Oh, come on, girls. A professional witch never knows where she might dine. You might have to eat termites one day, or snails, or sheep's eyeballs, or something really horrible, like chocolate fudge cake with caramel sauce. Mm. <sighs> My mother used to do an aeroplane. Close your eyes. Open your mouth. 
Here comes an aeroplane. <laughs> All gone. Now your turn. Close your eyes. Open your mouth. Here comes an aeroplane. <laughs> Done, girls. That's marvellous. Miss Hardbroom's going to be so pleased. <laughs> Quiet! I will be giving you all a small amount of enlarging potion. This you will drop on your snails, one drop at a time. Each time measuring the result and marking the new height and width on your charts. The effects of such a small amount are purely temporary. And the snails will revert to normal size by the end of the lesson. That is extreme. Oh, mighty musk. Miss, there's a funny smell, miss. Yes, there is rather. A fishy sort of smell, miss. Is it the potion? Certainly not. Who is responsible for that smell? A practical joke, I presume, and a not very funny one for the second time. Who is responsible? Very well. You can come up here a group at a time with your school bags and we'll soon see where it's coming from. We'll start with the front row. has been blown up out of all proportion. We've been serving the same dinners for the past 30 years. <laughs> well, not precisely the same. We had fish yesterday. I've told the girls that for the rest of the week, I shall eat exactly what they eat. If it's good enough for their headmistress, it should certainly be good enough for them. You're not really going to swallow that stuff, are you, Miss Cackle? I meant what I said. <laughs> it's perfectly edible. A whole week, though, Miss Cackle. A week without your cheese souffles. Without your lemon cheesecake. No red Leicester and blue Stilton. We have to set the girls an example. It's very character building. Mm. What on earth is that, Miss Bat? Hags and Horrocks called noodles with smoked eel flavouring. How do you find the pudding, Miss Cackle? Mm -hmm. Oh, but a bambina, you know like. Miss Hardbroom, she said to make sure it's all eaten up. I just can't. Neely? Down you go. Oh, yes. The kitchen's down in the dungeons. Hey, Franco, we got company. Mildred Hubble. Lots of trouble. <laughs> Have you eaten your pudding yet? Hey, pasta. Sei un gatto potrone. She'll have to have some of your homemade spaghetti now with tomato and basil sauce and grated cheese on top. If you haven't eaten it all. Sit down, sit down. I thought we had a deal. 
Plenty pasta for me and a Frank Blossom patent painless cheese protector for you. A cheese protector? What's it for? For mice. For rats. My cat Lightning, she preferred to heat her food off a plate like you see just now. So I'm inventing an extra large painless mouse and rat trap. Takes time. Takes energy. Takes a lot of bolognese. You lie. It's delicious. If only school dinners were like this. I make a beautiful pizza also. My favourite. Cackle's tradition is meat and two veg. Everything I have to do out of this book. Why is the food always so cold? It takes half an hour to carry out there. Everywhere here, always cold, cold and wet. Especially on Sir Walter's wet week. Food and shelter, you gave me none. So on Walter's wet week, shall the chill waters run. You get your cheese protector built if you want some cassata. Best get cracking then. <laughs> Cupboard. This is very interesting. If you're at home now, what do you have to eat? Chicken vindaloo. Pizza. With cheese. Pepperoni. No, with cheese. It's oh, a lot of rice. This is the pattern my dad takes us. They have chocolate cake and chocolate ice cream and big mugs of hot chocolate. <laughs> hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. I'm starving now. Me too. I wish I were at home. You all right, Millie? What are you thinking? Out. My back, won't keep lengthy a nod. Maybe we should do what they do. What? Eat flies. I'm not talking about what they eat, I'm talking about when they eat. What's the point of being at a boarding school if we can't even have a midnight feast? Audacious. Extreme. Useless. HB's taking all our sweet rations. Yes, but you know where I just paid off to after lunch? No. Wow. Tell us. Well, yeah. you yeah. you yeah. oh, they're oh. in the dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> Big storm tonight. It'll come pouring through. How do you know? Last night of wet week, the night of Sir Walter's walk. Really? From cold and hunger, Sir Walter died. Now his spirit seeks shelter from the storm outside. Stuff and nonsense, Frank. I'm surprised at you falling for all that old guff. Ghostly wet footsteps on the floor, Miss Drill. I've seen them with my own eyes. I don't believe a word of it. Neither do I. There's something very fishy going on. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> fishy! <laughs> that! You know, Miss Harbroom, since I started eating the school dinners, I've been feeling as if there's something missing. Have some more. I don't feel hungry for pudding. I feel hungry for something different. Alakazoo! Alakazam! Alakazoo! Alakazoo! That's enough now, girls. Time to turn them back. All together. Alakazam! Alakazoo! Now sit down, girls. Hats are easy. A witch's hat is already magical. But shape changing is dangerous and difficult to get right. Mice to horses. Pumpkins to peppers. Everyone knows that one. Now, say you wanted to make a cheese. A stilton, say. Or a farmhouse cheddar. Or, I'd say, a cheese flan. Or cauliflower cheese. Or cheese and onion or cheesecake with cherry. Miss Cackle? Yes? Where was I? What is it, Maud? What does magic chocolate cake taste like? Um, not bad, but it doesn't fill you up like the real thing. And we've had quite enough about food this week. So let's move on. Miss? Yes, Mildred? Why do they call it Walter's Wet Week? Now, that's a bit of red herring. And we did say we'd keep off food. <laughs> but I suppose he is part of the history of the school. Once upon a time, when Cackle's Academy was a proper castle, 
It was the home of a cruel lord called Baron Overblow. One wild and stormy night, his neighbor, Sir Walter, who had been robbed and wounded by bandits, staggered to the door, pleading for food and shelter. The Baron refused and left him in the cold rain to die. But they say that every year at this time it rains for a week, and the water, like tears of pity, flows down the walls. And on the last night, there's a big storm, and Sir Walter walks the corridors looking for revenge. Miss, do you believe in ghosts? Not many witches believe in ghosts, Mildred. Mind you, I don't think many ghosts believe in witches. <laughs> Lights out! I said lights out. Scared of that old Sir Walter story, are you? Well, it is the last night, and there is a storm brewing. What about the school song? Fearless witches never flinching through the dark and dismal nights. Ghouls and ghosts and, and nightmare, nightmare monsters, monsters ran away in fright. I know, but what if a witch is a bit afraid of the dark? We'll have our candles. Look, we can't go without you. You're the only one who knows the way. All right. <laughs> yes. She's scared of the dark. Wait till she meets Sir Walter. Oh, yeah. She'll run screaming, probably wake up HB and get done. She'll be on the next bus home. She'll be too terrified to set cackles after this. Ethel, you don't really believe in Sir Walter, do you? It's just some old story. You heard what Miss Cackle said. Witches don't believe in ghosts. What a place. Where's the crib then? Over there in that top cupboard. Come on. There should be something really, really nice. There's nothing in here. Yes, there is. Look. Here, hold the candle. That's it there. It's starving. Yes, come on. <sighs> Let's see what's inside. This is tapping in because it was interesting. Interesting for mice, maybe. Cheese is great. It just needs to be in something. I want something. Like pizza. My favourite. I know, let's magic it into one. Miss Kaka said it was difficult. And dangerous. Alakazam, Alakazoo, that's all we did. Only you wag your fingers. 
That was for hats. Come on, all together. A pizza for four with everything on it. Alakazam, Who said that? I don't know. Don't look at me. You. It wasn't me. Alakazam, Wow. It's beautiful. Extreme. to leave it for us. Pack it in, Drusilla. You've done your groaning. It wasn't me. It wasn't me either. So help <laughs> Now, then, let's see what we caught in Franco's cheese protector. Waiting for an explanation. Mm. It's not bad, but I make better myself. It doesn't really fill you up, magic food. Mm. Always feel hungry afterwards. Mm. Buy a pizza, fill you up a good and proper. Mushrooms, peppers, tomatoes, salami, plenty cheese, oh, mozzarella, parmigiano, oh. And do you think you could get it upstairs? Still warm? See, these special boxes they have now. Keep it good and hot. Miss Cackle! Mrs. Tapioca! Good morning, Miss Hardbroom. Good morning. I've come down here to ascertain if the extraordinary story these girls have told me is true. Well, that depends on the story. Mrs. Tapioca and I are celebrating the end of Sir Walter's wet week. And the beginning, I believe, of a new era in Cackle's catering. <laughs> Would you care to try a slice? As I've said before, what's good enough for your headmistress is good enough for you. And that works both ways. It has been a long, wet week. But the sun is shining, the hungry ghost is gone, and you may have your sweet rations back. Yay! Thanks to the inspiration of Mrs. Tapioca, and, dare I say it, Mildred Hubble and her friends, I have decided to allow a change to school dinners. Saturday will, in future, be pizza day. Yay! Plenty of fresh vegetables and plenty of cheese on top. Extra anchovies. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.